It doesn't make any sense, you know? Four kids, and he was a good guy, real good family man. New at six, more questions than answers about what happened between a Boca Raton couple, four children now parentless and friends stunned. Team coverage tonight on what we're learning about what happened near Ian and Gemma Berlikoff's home and what we've learned about their marriage. News Channel 5's Brian Enton begins our team coverage from Boca Raton. Brian. Kelly, on the outside, the Berlikoffs looked like they had it all. Known for their generous charity contributions and their spotlight on the Boca social scene, now it all ended with murder and a police-involved shooting last night right here on A1A. Ian and Gemma Berlikoff look like the perfect Boca couple. I said, what? You know, shocked. A real shocker. Ian was Bonnie Schaefer's boss at King Toyota for years. It doesn't make any sense, you know. Four kids. And he was a good guy. Real good family man. Three children and a newborn. All of it torn apart last night when investigators say Ian shot his wife, Gemma. Boca police responding. And that's when they say Ian reached for a gun. An officer shot and killed him. He was very involved with the community, and uh, again, it's just something that I still find it hard to believe. Volunteer work, you know, Habitat for Humanity. I mean, the list just goes on and on. The president of King Hyundai, where Berlikoff was the GM, releasing this statement saying, We are deeply saddened by the tragic news about Ian and Gemma. Ian was a talented and dedicated part of our team for over 12 years. Our thoughts and prayers are with their families and children. The kids loved him and he was a good father and to me, you know, he was a good husband. Right now, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office is investigating both the homicide involving Germana and also uh, the officer involved shooting. We're told that their four children right now are staying with their grandmother. Live in Boca, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.